Hello, Professor Jones, ENG 112 class. It's Dan Clanter here again to help you guys use your Ferguson's Career Guidance Center database. Uh, if you looked at the paper prompt from your professor, you will notice that it talks about the American dream. And all I know from doing this in the past that a lot of students are interested in uh, careers for themselves. So what we can do is we can go ahead and take a look at one of our career databases, which is gonna help provide you with a lot of really good info for getting information about your career. Okay, so last time we showed you guys how to get to the library page and we talked about using keyword terms. So you probably saw on my screen here the Ferguson's Career Center, uh, Career Guidance Center database. So we'll talk about that one. That one's actually going to use uh, a set of keyword terms that's probably a little bit different than these here. That's going to talk about essentially your career. So we're going to use mine as an example. So we're going to use the librarian as, as a career. Okay, so let's go find Ferguson's Career Guidance Center database. If you remember from the last video, we went to the main Mercer website, we scrolled down, we clicked on library services, and then we went ahead and we went to, under where it says quick links, the databases by subject. Ferguson's Career Guidance Center is under the reference section of our database page, and you'll see it's right there, and go ahead and click on it. And again, if you haven't logged in, it'll ask you to log in. Now, with Ferguson's, it's not necessarily a traditional article-based database. Uh, what it has done is basically pull sort of uh, entries from a variety of career guides uh, and encyclopedias and things like that. So when you search, like for example here, if we search for a librarian, we're actually going to get many different types of librarians because, first of all, there are many different types of librarians, and we'll see it's actually going to come from a whole bunch of different sources. See where it says from career opportunities in the nonprofit sector publishing, music, radio, okay, library and information science. So again, you can see too, you have librarian, news librarian, music, law librarian, medical librarian. So you can see that there's many different types of librarians. I bet you guys didn't know that. You had no idea it was this exciting. Great. So what we can do is we can go ahead and click on the one that is uh, most interesting to us. So let's see, do they have, there? this is I guess closest to me, academic librarian. I click on that and it's going to take me to the entry for this position. And what it does is it gives you a little description about what a librarian does, hangs out, reads books, does this during a pandemic apparently. And you can see it gives you your salaries low, okay, employment prospects, you know, everything's online, we're all screwed, whatever it may be, uh, advancement prospects, education training. So here, Master in Library and Information Science, okay. Uh, experience, traits, skills, things like that, all sorts of things. And it gives you all this great useful information. It even has almost like a little snapshot here of uh, everything from the salary range to the skills, traits, things like that. If you want to be, say, a plumber or if you want to be a surgeon, something like that, you will see it will not only give you various uh, uh, information about education, but certifications that you may need as well. You know, you have to be a licensed this or you have to attain certain certificates, uh, say, to be a physical therapist or something like that. Okay. So all of this contains really, really great information. And just like in the previous database, if you want, you can save it, you can email it, and you can click on the citation and it will show you the citation. Here it gives you the MLA formatted citation. There you go. Now, this is a little wonky because it includes these sort of uh, arrows here. You don't need to include that in your citation, but there you go. That's your MLA formatted citation for this article, this entry, which is great. Uh, the other thing that is really neat about Ferguson's is that when you do a search like here for a librarian, right, you can see we got all of these little entries for the uh, position if I go back to the search. Well, what you can also do is if I type in the word librarian again, I can click this jobs and internships, oops, librarian. I can put in a zip code. Let's put in a fun one like 90210. All right, we'll go there and see what they need for a librarian in Los Angeles, California, specifically Beverly Hills. And we can scroll through and see if there's anything. And again, you can put in, uh, See, I'll put in librarian again. We can put it in New York City zip code 117. That should do it. And you can go all over the country and see, okay, here's what the uh, requirements for a librarian are in Manhattan versus LA versus here. We'll put in New Jersey. We'll put in Mercer 08550. That's the Mercer one. 
And you can go and you can see that there's actual listings. So there's Princeton, look, there's us, there's Mercer, okay? So you can see too, even within the academic librarians uh, uh, subheading, there's here, look, a labor economics library. That sounds like fun. And if you click on it, it usually takes you to Indeed. Sometimes it takes you to the uh, actual the actual listing. But here, it tells you, here's what you would need to be a labor economics librarian at Princeton University. How fun, okay? Great. So again, you guys can use this Ferguson's Career Center uh, database to help you out. It's got lots of great information. And again, you can be fairly specific with the type of career or job you're interested in. And you can compare sort of what the guide says to what the real world requirements are. All right, that's it for Ferguson's. Uh, if you guys get stuck or lost, confused, please reach out to us, email us, uh, do a Google Hangout with us, whatever works for you guys. We'll do our best to work with you. All right. Thank you guys. See you next time.